Hello, my name is Jennifer Moore and I serve as the Director of Special Programs and Campus Life here at Lamont on College. Welcome to Talk About It Tuesday. Thank you so much for joining us. Today we will have a conversation with two of our student leaders who spend their time volunteering in the Memphis community. Some people like to spend their time turning up, but these two scholars enjoy helping others and giving back. Between classes, work, and interning, they have a full plate, but that doesn't stop them and their love for volunteering in the Memphis community. Let's pause for introductions. Okay, so I'll go first. Hi, everyone. My name is Kayla Wright. I'm a junior at LeMoyne. I'm a business major, and I am Miss United Negro College Fund for this academic school year. I spend a lot of my time with Mariah because we coordinate with UNCF and Alumni, so I'll let her introduce herself. All right. Um, Jennifer Moore, and I serve as the director. Sorry. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> oh, hello, everyone. My name is Mariah White. I am a graduating senior. My major is sociology. I also serve as Miss Senior for the 2020. 2021 academic school year, and also as your pre alumni president for the 2020 2021 academic school year as well. All right. Thank you so much, ladies. If you have questions, please feel free to place your question in the comment box. Also, you can email us at studentservices at loc.edu. It is important to us that you like and share our talks on social media. Um, you can also follow us on Instagram at LOC Magicians. Okay, Kayla and Mariah, I'm really excited about this. Let's talk about volunteerism and what you guys have been doing. Um, you've been volunteering since forever, but especially during COVID-19, you've had some pretty um, exciting things going on. Tell us a little bit about what you've been doing. Um, oh, well, I'll go first. Well, um, Pre-Alumni Council has been involved with um, the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated Food Bank. They had a um, a food drive uh, last December. Um, before then, we also helped out with our president, uh, Mr. Fulton. He gave back to the East Memphis community. Um, we also are trying to set up a um, food drive. Oops, sorry, this is camera, y'all. We also um, gonna try to set up a food drive for the South Memphis area around um, the Morning College. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that sounds good. Kayla, you want to jump in? Um, yeah, so like Mariah said, we've been um, collaborating with um, Alpha Phi Alpha. We did a food drive, like uh, packaged food for, um, packaged and fresh actually, for families um, to come drive through. We did that at the end of last year, and we've also done another one just like that um, earlier this, was it earlier this year or was it two last year? It was early this year. It was early this year, yes ma'am. Yeah. And we actually have fun doing it. Um, it's a way to get out into the community, not only just because it's something you should do, but we want to. Um, we do a lot of things, like Mariah said, that involve food bank and things like that. So those are the things we're looking for. And we're always open to other opportunities to volunteer because it's not just a something you have to do thing. We actually like doing it. Okay, so that's a good uh, segue into our next, my next question. Tell me a little bit about the importance of volunteering. Um, the importance of volunteering really to me is basically giving back to those that are less fortunate and those that are, that does have the, you know, the same needs that I have. Um, basically I've been volunteering since I was uh, very young. My grandmother, she loves to volunteer, give back. So it's like, it's naturally like inbred in me. So it was just so natural for me to like try to spread out into the South Memphis community, East Memphis community and give back because during this pandemic, a lot of of, of the people have lost their jobs they've been lack of food not a, like because a lot of people have children and that's really one thing that's important that the children actually get the nutrients that they need because they're also doing virtual school so about us volunteering and giving back we're also helping the children stay focused and being bright in school so volunteering is really is it goes a long way and it reaches so many people in the community 
Um, I agree with Mariah. I've also been doing um, volunteering since I was younger because of my family. They always wanted to get out there and help other people. Um, like she said, during COVID, it's especially important because a lot of people don't have what you would assume people have. So it's a good thing to get out there and help those people. Um, I think the impact volunteering has had on my life is that it really shows you that uh, there are other people in the world besides you. Um, it really humbles you. It makes you feel good to help those people. And it's like um, something I look forward to doing. Uh, getting up early, I don't mind that. It's just like, I don't know, it's something like the motive behind it really makes you want to get out there and help those people, especially in your community, like in Memphis, because there's so many areas that need help and so many people. So it feels good to know that you're helping people in your specific community. Okay, so tell me a little bit about how it's shaped you as a student um, and how can you encourage other students to get out there and volunteer? You can go, Kayla. Okay, um, I think it shaped me as a student by just, like I said, it like humbles you because there could be people in your own backyard or in your own school that need that type of help. And it feels like you're touching others kind of. Um, you don't know who you're helping, but just to know that you're helping somebody that is less fortunate or is just going through a rough time, it actually helps you as a student because it makes you, I feel like, stay focused on the bigger picture. Because once you graduate, you'll be able to do a lot more things to be able to help others. So that's how it shaped me as a student. And as a student leader, I think it just helps you look forward to more positive things. Not always like there's nothing wrong with like having fun and doing what you want to do, but it makes you look forward to things that you know are actually bettering yourself and others so that's how it shaped me as a student um volunteer um has been really shaped me as a student and um as a person really because i i have i have tons of friends the people who know me i have tons of friends i impact a lot of people but when people actually come to me and they will say like oh can i volunteer can you help me can i can you show, uh, show me how to do this and that it really helps me because i'm like i'm actually making a difference and i have experienced someone that's close to me but not on campus but in, in my workplace that they were in need of food and i actually um instead of taking the leftovers to my home i actually brought the uh, volunteer food to the job and i gave it to them because he like he literally just started crying because he's like I didn't know where my next meal was going to come from. It's like people are so busy trying to pay their bills during the pandemic and all this other stuff. But by you being a, uh, being a light and a blessing towards them and being and actually volunteering and getting out and actually helping people, you know that it pays off. So it really shaped me as a person, as, as a student leader, and also a leader in general in the community. That's great. Thank you, ladies, so much. We are gearing up for our um, LOC project number one, which is reimagining Walker Avenue. And we're encouraging students, faculty, staff, alumni, and community, I'm sorry, community, community, got it, supporters <laughs> to join us for the first of many LOC Day projects. We wanna strengthen our community and rebuild our relationship within our community. Um, so this project number one, what we're going to do, we're going to clean up South Memphis. Um, we're going to clean up Walker Avenue and the surrounding streets along Walker Avenue. So we would encourage you to register for um, this community cleanup. The uh, registration link will be in the comment section. So feel free to click on the registration link to um, tell us that you're coming to join us on Friday from 9 to 12. We will have free food and a lot of fun. So students, if you haven't seen each other in person, come out, bring your mask. If you don't have one, I will have plenty of masks for you. Um, we'll also have gloves and everything that you need to help clean up um, our South Memphis community. Also, if um, you're unable to click on the link in the comment section, you can feel free to go to our website at www.loc.edu um, and click on the LOC project number one for the community cleanup for reimagining Walker Avenue. Ladies, do you have any closing remarks? Um, you guys just come out and 
give back to your community. It's going to be an amazing time. You get to fellowship with um, students you haven't seen in a long time, faculty, staff, even alumni are, are going to be uh, in attendance. So please come and sign up. It's, it's really important that they actually see that Lamont is here and we are in the community. Yeah, I agree with Mariah. Please come. And if it's your first time or it's not your first time volunteering, still please come out and help us. Um, also, I think on the flyer it says, even if you're not a student alumni, but if you're in the community and want to actually help better our school and better South Memphis, I really encourage you to come and help with the cleanup. Great. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. And please feel free to tune in to um, another edition of Talk About It Tuesday on next week. Thank you so much for joining us and have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. We're ending it now. <laughs>